The eruption which is started in the uh, sourcing volcanic system has some very interesting features which are a pattern actually repeated in the previous eruption. We see the uplift and downfall of the land. And you can actually follow that in the GPS data that we have. This is the distance from the ground to the satellite measured over time. You can see that we had the east-west direction falling over the period that the magma was accumulating. Then during the eruption, it rose back to the level it was. It was contracting, then expanding. The similar situation we have for the uh, vertical direction, uh, other than the east-west, and we saw that the uplift, then downfall, and is now building up again the system. These are all reflected in the earthquakes we can see in that area. And these are following the pattern of the transform fault, which are staggering along this uh, plate boundary. When the plates open, practically we can see that the magma has the way to open. The initial contraction is during the magma accumulation. It's a strange in that area. We see the pinching of the ground in the Rift Valley. Then in the adjacent area, we see the swelling of the ground. So they are related together. When the magma erupts like this, the swelling under the source goes down, the pinching effect of the rift valley stops, and the rift valley expands, magma comes out. That's the result of this. We can see that the eruption has started uh, vigorously in four kilometers almost length, then is now limited to a tiny area to the north, almost at the plate boundary. This is my analysis. I published the first time here now for you. You can see the plate boundary exactly there, and this is the old fissure. Uh, not very active. We have not seen much piling up of the magma around that area and the lava uh, also. But this is the erupting feature now. It's a new one. It was easy for it to go. America and Eurasia plate, we can see them here at the boundary. The texture are different. And we have now seen that the piling of the mag uh, uh, lava starts around the fountains of the lava we, we are seeing here. Uh, I have an estimate about the height of this. And I will publish it also in a separate video. This is now the gas distribution changes direction from today, tomorrow, and the next day, changing direction toward the Keflavik uh, airport in the uh, end of the peninsula. This is the update by the Icelandic Meteorological Office. I've added my opinions on that and uh, graphics to uh, present the ideas. This is a real geologist talking for you. It's not a copy-paste robot or somebody who is just having a media company to actually copy-paste something that they don't understand even. They have to rely on somebody to actually, you know, copy-pasting it even for them. This is a geologist explaining to you the tectonics and the structural geology. 